All right, so I wanted to show you where we installed the drip irrigation system into the existing home underground sprinkler system. So this installation here was a little more simple. The homeowner had an existing underground irrigation system that ran from the corner of the house underground over here to water the lawn area. And we just spliced into the one inch poly pipe with a 45 PSI pressure reducer and a filter to reduce the debris that's gonna get into the drip irrigation heads. And from the filter, we reduce down to a half inch soft drip irrigation pipe that will run throughout the yard and to all our drought tolerant plants. Uh, so I, I laid the drip irrigation system out so it starts on a high point and I teed it off about every seven feet and that way it can run downhill and have drains at each low point at the end. And it should be pretty simple just to run the drip laterals about three and a half feet to, to meet up in the centers for any, any plants that are kind of in the, in the middle point there. At the low point on the drip system, I like to install a simple shutoff that you can just close during the regular season and then open up at the end of the year and just let the water drain out of your system. So here I'm just gonna cut it and put in the shutoff here into the half inch drip system and then I'll cut it off right at the fence line so that it'll be out of the traffic area so cars won't run over it and smash it. So here we're just gonna take and cut the pipe and just put it down in the cradle there and you just kind of rock that cutter there and it'll cut right through it like that. Keep it out of the dirt. And then we'll put on our our clamp and then make sure we got this the way we want it to be. Okay. Slide it onto the pipe. And with this, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tap so it goes on easier. Okay, and there you can see it went on all the way right to where we want it. Slide that clamp down. Just clamp it right about there. So we'll just set this in place and then we'll drive our stake through the cardboard into the soil, tap it off. Okay, so when I'm all done, I just want to make sure that I have my shut off closed and I leave it exposed so it reminds me where I'm at in the fall and I can easily find it and it's not buried. And since this is kind of in a higher traffic area, you might want to think about just setting a rock or something by it, just kind of to remind you that where it's at. And if it gets stepped on, that rock will take the impact instead of the shutoff itself. So some people will get intimidated by installing drip irrigation. And it's really quite simple. It's kind of like putting Legos together. You just put the pieces together that fit and you put a clamp on it. And if it leaks, you just tighten it down and test it again until everything's leak proof and you're pretty well good to go. And if it leaks a little bit, it might be right where you want it. You just put a plant there. 